Okay, I am standing here with the mysterious. We are Team Bay of Pigs. We are the only recipients of the Hogtails Trophy from 2013. The one and only, that, because there will never be a Hogtails champion after us, because they discontinued the contest. But I, even if they were continuing it, we would only... Oi! I'm getting interviewed. So, what would you like to know about us, aside from the party animals that we are, the cocktail champions that we become on that Friday night. How many years have you been competing? Well, this will be the second year for Team Bay of Pigs, but we like to think that we've been competing in barbecuing since each of us first tasted the sweet, sweet flesh of Lesser Beast. Are you doing all the categories this year? We have not decided. I think that'll be a game time decision. We definitely don't want to let out the strategy too soon. What brings you back to Hogs each year? Drinking. Uh, no, uh, no, can we cut that? Maybe, no, probably not. Uh, you know what's interesting is that initially it was because of the excuse of just cooking with friends and eating that product, but I'm a vegetarian. I actually don't even eat what I cook anymore, but I enjoy hanging out and all kidding aside, Hogs is a fantastic cause. It's a wonderful organization. What Renee and Becker have done is amazing, and it's just a great excuse to get together and have a good time. Could your team bring Sexy back if it was lost again? There was no loss of Sexy. I mean, if you saw the keg stands that we were doing at our tent last year, there was no question that Sexy was here and now. Any big plans for Friday night? Oh, well, since we are, again, the reigning champions of the Hogtails competition, we know that we need to bring it and bring it hard. So, we'll see. Bay of Pigs. Well, thank you so much, and we look forward to seeing what you have to offer in March. We're very much looking forward to it as well. Thanks.